Here's more wrestling news for August 21st, 2021. And your headlines for this afternoon include Las Vegas reportedly told WWE they need a shorter SummerSlam, John Moxley's AEW All Out match could be pulled, Logan Paul set for WWE return, released WWE wrestler says he has almost full creative control in AEW, Baron Corbin's story on SmackDown doesn't involve much redemption, an underwhelming WWE SmackDown return, Randy Orton slapped a WWE wrestler backstage, and more. We are kicking off with SummerSlam 2021, as tonight's show is expected to be as big, if not bigger, than WrestleMania 37, with a loaded card including John Cena, Edge, and Goldberg. A total 10 matches have been announced for tonight's show, but some of those matches will go shorter than expected. That's because of the Manny Pacquiao vs. Errol Spence Jr. fight, which will happen tonight as well, and on Wrestling Observer Live, Brian Alvarez explained when SummerSlam will end. I've had two different sources telling me a different time that the show is going to go off the air. I had one insisting that the show is going to end at 8.30, but I've been told, and I've been told for a while, that the city of Vegas wants the show to be over by 8 Pacific, 11 Eastern, so fans can get out and get to the boxing event. Given that the show starts at 8 p.m. Eastern, it means it should last between 3 to 3.5 three hours, far shorter than SummerSlam traditionally has been in recent years. With 10 matches, fans can expect some matches to be shorter than expected, as Las Vegas doesn't want anyone in the crowd to miss Pacquiao's huge return to boxing. AEW news now as Jon Moxley recently lost the IWGP US title to Lance Archer, who's since lost the title to Hiroshi Tanahashi, with speculation being that a Moxley-Tanahashi dream match will happen at All Out. This is a match fans have been waiting to see, but they may have to wait longer as the Wrestling Observer Newsletter reports that despite Moxley going hard on Tanahashi in his promo a few weeks back, their rumored match at All Out is uncertain at this time. That's because of things changing from New Japan's side, as it's expected that Moxley will win, and New Japan don't want Tanahashi to lose the title yet, so soon after winning it. That explains why Moxley never mentioned Tanahashi this week, and though it's expected that the two will do battle one day, the former AEW World Champion will probably be in need of a different opponent for All Out on September 5th. Back to WWE and earlier this year, Logan Paul had a WrestleMania moment when he joined Sami Zayn in his war with Kevin Owens, and now the YouTuber slash boxer is coming back to the company. Paul will be on next week's Raw as the guest of John Morrison's talk show, Moist TV, and it's interesting that WWE would save the YouTuber until after SummerSlam. We'll have to see what WWE has planned for Paul, who was praised for taking a stunner by Owens without any issues, and it's entirely possible that he could get physical again on next week's Raw. Malachi Black certainly won't be on Raw, as he's more than happy after joining AEW earlier this year. After years going underused on WWE's main roster, Black joined AEW just a few months ago, and has already cemented himself in the All Elite promotion. Speaking to Bleacher Report, the former NXT champion spoke about bringing his decades of experience to AEW, saying, I had a plan, and I think the only place in my head where this plan would come to fulfillment is AEW. The company is young, fresh, and exciting. It brings an edge that professional wrestling has sorely needed. This character that I have clearly has a kind of edge to it that I could only portray in AEW. My agent communicated my thoughts to Tony Khan and he loved it. We had a quick conversation and then a long two or three day period where we were communicating a lot. The rest is history and the impact has been seen. Black added that unlike WWE, he has a lot of control over his character, adding, My creative input is almost 100%. I will send my ideas to Tony Khan and he will either give his thoughts on it or sign off on it. The locker room itself is absolutely great. It's a group of people who will fight tooth and nail to get things done. Black has previously said that he has no desire to go back to WWE, and after the past two years, we can hardly blame him, and instead, fans can see him have his second match in AEW next week when he faces Brock Anderson on Dynamite. Over to SmackDown next as Baron Corbin seemed to be on the cusp of a face turn not too long ago, but now the likelihood of him turning face seems far lesser than before. While the initial part of his storyline teased a redemption arc for the former king, we've only seen Corbin get more desperate about getting his money back. 
Corbin's attempts to get some quick cash has squandered his chances of a face turn as he tried asking Drew McIntyre for $100,000, tried to sabotage Finn Balor and secure the main event of SummerSlam for himself, and most recently, stole the Money in the Bank briefcase from Big E. Losing to Kevin Owens last week, Corbin failed to earn $1,000, and this week, the two faced off again, with Corbin hoping to get a winner's check from WWE. That match ended in a DQ after Big E attacked Corbin, who still managed to escape with the briefcase, signaling their story is far from over. We'll have to see just how long Corbin can hold on to the briefcase that doesn't belong to him, but the chances of him being redeemed and turning face are looking increasingly slim. Last night's show also saw the return of Natalya, who sadly received little fanfare upon her comeback from injury. A veteran of WWE and one of their most gifted female superstars, Natalya returned as if nothing had happened, and went on to lose her first match back as she and Tamina fell short to Shotzi Blackheart and Tegan Knox. We are not sure why WWE insists on contenders earning title shots by beating the champions, as it only goes to make the champions look weaker, but for now, we can only hope WWE thinks of a way for challengers to get opportunities without having to pin a title holder. In 2021, Randy Orton is a WWE locker room leader, but he wasn't always the most professional person to work with. Early in his career, Randy was known for having a short fuse and nasty temper, and one person who saw that firsthand was manager Kenny, the star maker Bolin. Speaking on a preview for SummerSlam alongside Sid Puller, Bolin spoke about an overseas incident featuring the legend killer, saying, Me and Randy have had our differences over the years. I think we get along pretty good now because he bitch slapped a WWE wrestler that I didn't. It was a guy, but he bitch slapped him in a foreign country and we thanked him for it. He's all, Kenny, me and you are cool. Randy and I, in our younger days, had our differences, but I guess we're cool now. Bolin didn't receive a slap from the Viper, but somebody did, and we have no doubt it must have hurt. Bolin is known as the star maker as he managed several future WWE champions in OVW, including John Cena and Bobby Lashley, and he's cool with Orton, a fellow OVW graduate who has mellowed out considerably in recent years. And we're ending today with Lily, the demonic doll of Alexa Bliss that has been appearing for the past few months. The idea of a creepy doll has divided fans, many of whom believe it's too unrealistic even for pro wrestling, and now Lily's days may be numbered. That's according to Andrew Zarian, who reports that this weekend's merchandise sales will determine the doll's fate when it's put on sale at SummerSlam. WWE has a few pieces of Lily merch available, including a jack-in-the-box similar to the ones fans saw at Bray Wyatt's last match at WrestleMania 37. Many fans soured on Bliss and Lily after Wyatt's release, and if her merchandise doesn't sell well this weekend, then not even all the demonic forces in the underworld can save Lily from being the latest and strangest name to be future endeavored. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.